Hey guys, Shane Storms with Droid Modder X. As you well may know, Verizon has recently released an update over the air. Now, this will remove root from your device if you do accept the over the air update. Normally, I am against over the air updates for the simple fact that if you have a bootloader unlock or if you have a root, those things can be patched, and when they're patched, it's hard to get them back sometimes. In this case only, the Galaxy S5 on Verizon has not yet received a bootloader unlock. It's very unlikely that it will ever receive a bootloader unlock. The fact that it took $18,000 just to get root on this device uh, says a lot for how locked down and how secure it really is. All of this being said, I'm going to go ahead and recommend the over-the-air update. It does include lots of bug fixes and things that will overall improve your experience on the Verizon Galaxy S5. And it is rootable. If it were not rootable, obviously I would not recommend updating, but this is rootable. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to root the latest NE9 version of TouchWiz on the Verizon Galaxy S5. It's pretty simple, so we'll go ahead and get started with that. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is put the S5 in download mode, so we'll go ahead and power it off. Okay, once it's powered off, we're going to hold volume down, home, and power all at the same time. Okay, that'll bring us into uh, this warning screen. From here, we're going to go with volume up. So the next thing you want to do is head to the link in the description. That'll bring you to this page by Muniz RI. This is uh, all the files that you need for rooting the NE9 over the year update. So the first thing you want to do is grab this NCG stock kernel file here. And then you'll want to grab uh, this NE9 stock kernel. Of course, you'll have to have Odin already installed on your computer. I'll be sure to have a link in the description on where you can find Odin. Once you have these two files, we will exit out of this thread. Okay, then we'll go ahead and open up Odin. Once you've plugged in your phone to the computer, if you don't already have the drivers, Windows should automatically install those drivers for you, which is what it did on my device. And then you'll see your device show up right here. So it should uh, something should populate in this box once the drivers have successfully installed. The next thing we'll do is go over here where it says PDA. Click on PDA, find the NCG stock kernel that we've just downloaded. Go ahead and open that file. And then you'll click start. Okay, and you'll see a progress indicator um, on your phone as it flashes. Okay, once it's finished, it'll say reset and then it'll your phone will begin to reboot. Okay, so once your phone is all booted back up, we'll head into the uh, head into the browser here and type in Tau root. Dot com. Okay, then we'll hit the center button. Click OK, and that will begin to download the Tau root application. Okay, so we're going to settings. security and make sure to check unknown sources and then we should be able to navigate to where that file was downloaded go into my files and we'll go ahead and open up the tile root install okay once tile roots installed we'll go ahead and open it and we'll select make it rain okay so thank you for using tile root you should have root no reboot required. Okay, so once the device is rooted with Tau root, we will go to the Play Store and download and install Super SU. Once it's installed, we'll click Open. Okay, the SU binary needs to be updated. We'll go ahead and update the binary normally. Click OK. Okay, so we'll go into the Play Store and grab an application like Root Checker. Okay, so we should get this asking for root permission. We'll go ahead and grant it. Okay, so congratulations, this device has root access. And if we go into Super User, Super SU, you can see where it has granted Root Checker root access. Okay, so from here we'll go back to the PC. Uh, well, first of all, we'll power down the device and put it in download mode. Okay, so we need to put our phone in download mode by holding volume down, home, and power. 
and then we'll go to volume up and then we will connect the device to the PC with a USB cable okay so once that's finished we see our device listed here we'll go back into PDA on Odin we'll select the any nine stock kernel open that file okay once we see it populated here we'll go ahead and click start Okay, once again, you will see a progress bar on your device. Okay, once it's finished, it will reboot the phone. Hey guys, and once your phone is rebooted, you are now on the official over-the-air update, any 9 and you are rooted. If this video helps you in any way, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at DrawerModerX.com. We'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.